This broadcast is inappropriate for all ages. Right here on the house the camera I built. I am, it's not the right way to say I, I am camera. I, ah, we are multi streaming tonight. I had a crash before I went on, so I wanted to make sure that everything got set up properly. So I delayed a little bit, so I'm a little bit late, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna, I, I may just ignore chat because it's never there, anyways. And that's just how I feel about things right now. We're gonna close Hulu though. Just to, to get it going, we're going to minimize Minicam, uh, and we're going to minimize OBS because we don't need it. We don't need it. Um, I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put Fire Talk over there on the other monitor. Uh, I've got another monitor coming because I wanted to have two of the same monitors, so I finally broke down and bought one. It turns out it's like the last one available. I paid. Uh, I don't know, too much for it probably, but um, it's a decent monitor, I like it, I think they're 23 inches, um, so now I'll have same and same, so I don't have to worry about which one's where or what connections, because this is basically a TV that I have for a second monitor, and technically, ever so technically, I actually have three ports of my card, so I could run th all three monitors, um, so if I want to take the third, the, the TV monitor and put it in the middle, I could do that. Um, and I might do that. I might actually do that. Um, just because what else am I going to do with it for now? Um, so I'll probably play around with it and see how that goes. But, I mean... Um, the whole point of putting these over here was to play... Or to be, so be able to see the chat. So we'll put Fire Talk there. And then we'll take you now. And we'll put it here. Like, you know what would be interesting to do with this? I probably have, you know, actually would be a really good way to test. Am I not live? Oh, pfft. okay, so going live on you now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so we are now joining you now. Uh, stupid, stupid thing. I'm just trying to push boundaries still. I'm still cr crash testing this, and I hate it. I hate it so much. It's, it's it's impossible um, memory management is like the worst most nondescript thing in the world and I think it actually has to do with storage and not memory like I don't think it's actually in my RAM that what is happening I don't think it's oh there we are yeah I don't think it's my RAM I don't even think it's my video card I think it's it's something to do with the hard drive I don't think it likes writing to the second drive um, so I took that out of the works this time. Um, and the last crash happened, I wasn't even streaming, it was just things were going on. And then having things up, of course, doesn't help anything. Um, but, I, I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying the things. Um, but to sit there and do, like, forced broadcasting seems just bad. I, I mean, like, I could just, like, leave it on while I'm watching or, or programming or whatever the hell I'm doing for once. Um, but, like, most of the time I'm watching copyrighted protected stuff, uh, or it's on in the background, so then the audio's there, and that's that's going on. And then, um, I, talk, I mentioned the femme service. I know Danielle's out of town, but, so when she gets back and I talk to her again, uh, fuck you, you. Now, I don't want to ask my audience about their favorite food. Fucking idiot program. Uh, so when Danielle gets back from being out of town, uh, I'm going to talk to her about their Litz watches. Because they wanted to do it like gamers, because for... Uh, they obviously don't game. <laughs> um, and they're, they're not involved in the industry, because I think in their head, it's like, well, if people can uh, play games and talk, then why can't we... Uh, watch something and talk about it. Um, the copyright works completely differently. Now, if you are being critical of it, then it's a, then a critique. But because if you post the audio the audio and or video with it, you're distributing it technically. So then copyright, uh, can, you get strikes. Um, now, if you're not archiving it, that's another matter. It falls into a different category of yups or nups. I'm not recording this to the computer 
and it doesn't seem like I'm live on YouTube. So I'm very upset. Now, if it's going out to YouTube at all, because I can't see what profile I'm using. Oh, it says HTKB uh, YouTube. Why am I not live? I'm hoping that the web page is not displaying correctly. About as gentle as I could do that right now. Um, he's constantly doing that. Um... Just stay down there. Why did it not? It's and it's not kicking me back for uh, non-connect. So it's connecting somewhere. So now we get to play. Uh, where did we connect to? And I think last week it went to Jam on Toast, and I don't want to do this again. Ugh, I don't know that it really matters. It matters. It matters to me a lot, but I think, like, from an audience perspective, whether or not they're there, yeah, I'm on Jam on Toast again. Uh, so I, that's infuriating um, all on its own. I will switch over to the appropriate chat, um, which doesn't make any sense to me because the stream name keys are so different. So I don't know the wrong, it's on the wrong one. I can't fix it because it doesn't allow you access to that while you're you're here. Now I could stop the stream and then bring it up on that channel, but then I have to upload the first part later. And then because I'm that OCD, I'd have to download and reload uh, upload the other one. You know what? That's fine. So we're gonna call. We're gonna put a flag on play. We're gonna call full start. We'll do this one of two, uh, but we will go to a, a, a new video. So I am gonna stop the stream for just a bit and then go back there. So uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on HTKB. So I'm gonna wait until it says I go live, and then I can. Uh, do some things. There we go. It says I'm starting. Uh, I didn't do the intro scene and everything like I was thinking I was going to do because I already did it on the first part. Uh, and to me, it's going to be weird. So what I might actually do is download both, process them, and then reload upload the video later. It's not like I get a lot of traffic. It's not going to be a big deal. Um, so I, I've got options. The point is that I've got options, and I know I'm going to download the this part right here again later. Or I could I could have just been recording it. Uh, but I'm getting too many crashes. I don't want to mix any more technology like that. Um, so for now, we will go ahead and we'll minimize OBS. We've got idiot chat stuff everywhere. Uh, duty. Um, so yeah, so we've got options, and we'll we'll do that later. Um, what I can do in the meantime, though. Oh, geez. Um, that's wet. We'll figure out what to do about that later. Um, yeah, so I can go ahead and start it downloading now. I don't know if I really care or want it to do that right this second, but uh, you know what? I don't. I changed my mind because I can do that. Uh, and out of all the little control I feel lately, I'm going to abuse that power and just be like, yes, I am in control. Um, I finally bought, I think, my first non Super Dungeon Explorer uh, Chibi Mini. Uh, this is my spirit animal for anyone who gives a shit. Uh, I really like him. Um, I like him enough to the point where I think he's going to be my first altered character. Uh, there's a character called S Jack Scarecrow, I think, uh, coming out later this month. Uh, I'm going to end up getting uh, him, Beatrix. I'm going to buy the Boo Boo to USB for the Alpha for Super Dungeon, um, whatever it's called. Um, the, the video game version. Uh, and then I'm going to take uh, Scarecrow Jack's character. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm thinking it's going to be a melee-based character with like some special effects. And I'm going to try to see if I can't switch some stuff so that he's magic-based and still use, uh, still balanced. Uh, because, like, I want that to be Scarecrow Jack, and then 
or a uh, farmer, ja- I don't know, something, and this would be Magic Jack, and have Magic da- Jack act like a mini boss. Um, I think it'll be really interesting. Uh, I realized that I think the easiest way I have to be able to do my, my super campaign, my, my mega campaign, if you will, um, is to go ahead and scan in the stuff I have and make a super dungeon um, explore Forgotten King uh, tabletop simulator version. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that has all the tools and stuff I need for that. And then what I can do, the only reason that really this makes it viable is that I can take the um, the map and then I can double the size and then cut it down uh, to smaller squares. Or not smaller squares, but to normal size squares. Because I've got to use larger maps because of the number of models that I'm using. So there's that. Um, so I think that's what's going to have to happen. Um, but I'm totally behind in everything. I have uh, videos for gaming division that I, I've got to do. Uh, still, I think I've got one more. No, I've got two more unboxing videos. Uh, one more before I can start uploading them because it's a three-part series for Super Dungeon Explore Forgotten King. And then <laughs> when I get the other stuff later on, I'm going to have to do one for that. So that's going to be fun. But I also have Epic that I unbox, so I've got to do that. Um, I am, of course, way behind on my bad summary stuff. Um, I'm actively behind on Twilight Chorus and Dominion of Esalen. I'm very close to War and Scarlet catching up, so I've got to try to do the this weekend. Um, I managed to do a couple of uh, drafts on my resume, working with a recruiter in Texas. Um, so hopefully, uh, if I can, uh, I don't know, trick somebody into hiring me. Uh, even with a recruiter and the fees that they associate on there, um, I think uh, I think it'll be all right, uh, and I can get there. And, and at this point, I'm almost hoping that I can get like a contract, uh, and then I'll work out my contract or whatever, and then I'll look for a real job. Um, sounds like a really like pessimistic way to go about it, but it is what it is. What it is. Uh, but if I can get over there and then uh, start working with Weird Lens, I think that'll be a good time. Um, I, it's it's really odd life goal because like I, I I fucking hate it here, hate like every every inch of this place. But uh, um, I just like I'm like, well, what's the alternative? Like, because that's the obvious question. It it. It's, sometimes it's fun to complain about things, but honestly, you should have uh, an alternate solution. Um, just stay there and be fluffy. Um, so my alternate solution is, well, i got to be somewhere else. So like, if i got to be somewhere else, where do I want to be? Um, I don't really want to go back to Georgia. Like, I've got some friends there that I'd like to see again for a while. Um, and, like, that might be thing that happens shortly. <laughs> um, but I think my company's too stupid to do what they need to do, so I don't think it's going to happen. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, so I think I'll end up in Austin instead of that, and it, no matter which way, it's going to be a big ordeal to get there, and life's going to be a thing uh, just to, to get it back on track for that sort of thing. I really need that this laptop not to go to sleep. I hate I hate that feature. Like to me it seems like a stupid thing to do um, to, to have your laptop go to sleep. I'm trying to do file recovery so I didn't want to fuck with the settings on this uh, and I'm trying to remember what the hell Windows 7 is for this, but um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to like, I may, I may, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do a clean install anyways. And when I do that, I've got it set up for uh, Windows 10 already, or I've got a stick set up for Windows 10, so I may just do that. Uh, God, hardware, device manager. It's so dumb. I can never remember this, and I do it. 
with every computer that I get my hands on because I hate it so much. Um, performance settings. No? Yes? No? 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 Advance? Yes? No? No? Yes? Uh, okay, so... Oh, uh, this doesn't even have Chrome on it. And I've actually, like, I distake... Like, I've gotten used to Firefox. Uh, I hate Internet Explorer more than ever now that I've I've been programming in it for the, over the past year. Um, I think it's a ridiculous thing. It it's it's designed to work almost no matter what. So if you run into any problems, the default is for it to keep going. Uh, so you have to have like a really crazy bad problem for Internet Explorer to stop your applications or your web pages or whatnot, uh, which is actually kind of ridiculous because it causes so many more issues to pop up because it's not the only thing people use. Uh, and it's just the fact of it. And I honestly think it's it's really weak. It's I think Microsoft thinks it's really weak too because they came out with Edge. If you get your Windows 10, you will realize that it comes with a new browser um, because they can't appropriate other things. If they could, they would have appropriated Notepad++ years ago because it's far superior than their shitty little Notepad exe doesn't make any sense at all uh, to, to keep using that it, it just is a bad thing um, GIMP should replace MS Paint uh, there was one other one um, there are several search engines uh, that they may have actually incorporated one when they got to 10 because it is much better that they could put into the search options for Windows um, and I think they, they did something like that for 10 because it is actually much better than it used to be um, Uga booga booga. Yeah, it, it's surprising how hard it is to get one of these mice. It's a M03 Logitech mice. Or Logitech M03, M305 wireless optical mouse. Uh, it's super interesting that it's it's so difficult. Um because they just they I mean they just kind of stopped making them. Eventually they stopped making stuff. And like the the older ones that have the long USB uh, receivers make sense, but this was one of the, the early, not early, early, but to me it was one of the first uh, mice that ever had a nano receiver that I actually liked holding um, because everyone's different about like how their, their hand goes. And this is one of the only mice that, I mean, Logitech's got a good mind for where I want my hands on my mice. Um, so like the one at work, I, the one I have at work is not a 305, but uh, it's, it's doable, it's passable. Um, and that's work, so like I have a different mindset, different mu memory control while I'm there. Uh, muscle memory control is maybe what I meant. Um, that is not what I want to do. There we go. Prevent. System security power options. That's right. It's on. It's actually like an extension of the display settings, um, which I always found weird. So start control panel. Isn't this fun, kids? Um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So I kind of yelled at one of my workmates about stealing my fucking chair at work because uh, it's not the first time it's happened. Um, and and his logic was that I had two chairs, but I've got a shitty little chair that was hurting my back to the point where I was ready to go buy my own chair so that I could make sure that no one had caused to, to ever touch my fucking chair. Um, and then I just stole one out of the com back out of the conference room because it's obviously where it ended up going. Um, but I don't see why his solution was to steal my fucking chair, or why you wouldn't take the spare chair. It's because my chair, the chair that he took, was better than the other one. So why would he take? It's 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 a inbound level of or it's an ingrained level of disrespect for a person. If you look at someone else, the resource someone else has, and you're like, even if they if they have more, and you take the better thing out of the two because that's what you want, um, then you're saying like, well, I deserve this more than they do. Or at the very least, you're giving me more work because I gotta go find another fucking chair. And it had my settings on it. It was still warm from when I was sitting in it. That's the crazy part. I went to the bathroom and I came back and he stole my chair. Uh, ugh, it's it's. And I so I took the other chair this morning. I think it was yesterday. I took the other chair this morning. And I put it in the conference room 
because uh, I I'm not fucking having that chair there anymore. Um, so if someone else puts a chair there, I'm gonna tell them to go put it somewhere else. Um, and that's the other thing is people are assholes that they stick the chair like behind me. So when I come away from my desk, I back into it. Um, I think like one day like I turn around like hurt my knee on the chair. It's uh, it's it's ridiculous. I don't understand why people don't respect each other. Um, idiots can't even like we. We have this recurring problem in the break room where there's water all over the floor. Uh, people will put out a wet floor sign or, um, and then just leave the water everywhere. I've been hired to clean it up. I hope someone gets hurt at this point because we're too stupid to shut the fucking fridge door so that the condensers don't uh, go haywire and cause all the moisture in the back and then let it all drain out the front. That's what's happening. I finally figured it out. Um, and I thought about putting up a little sign, and then I was just like, no. No. Someone else needs to stop being a lazy shit about things. Because I've gotten down there, I've been over and cleaned, uh, cleaned up with the water myself. Um, and everyone th seems to think that they're above that. So I hope they get hurt. Fuck them. Fuck them. Um, where are we at? Uh, security. What was the option? Control panel, system and security. Oh, because they wanted it in the other. They wanted it in the dumb thing. Uh, category. Is that. System security, yep. I don't understand why anyone ever has it in that settings. Um, I get that I originally changed it to large icons because, like, oh, now it looks like it used to look. And I still keep everything in Windows Classic mode because it eats less m RAM and it flows a little better for me. I don't like arrow um, even the weird thing where they flip through like that's neat but I don't need it um, I'd much rather have a very simplistic look to it I don't I just don't need all that fancy shit where it doesn't do anything extra for me uh, power options yes yes okay so I can do the rest of this uh, the, and the weird thing in Windows 7 too is that like you have the little screen with all of, like the UI where um, let's let's change that to an hour um, oh that's okay so turn off in an hour uh, dim in like 15 uh, so you've got a little UI bit and then you can save that and then there's an advanced thing saying choose when it sleeps and you can, where's that? Advanced settings and I think there's like a third hidden option that you can't see from the UI page which never made any sense to me or is it just the hard disk that I'm thinking of? Uh, hard disk, who cares? Just leave those how they are as long as it doesn't go to sleep and I don't, you're gonna, I'm gonna kill you and make slippers out of you. I don't know what it is. We've actually been getting really aggressive with Little lately and it doesn't make any sense because the few times I've seen it, Little's not actually doing anything. She's just hanging out, being a cat, etc. And then we Black like freaks out on her. Yeah, hibernation. So we don't want to hibernate. Uh, can I reach the zero button? I can. Okay, so yeah, and then you've got to do it on all three Tux, I shall kill you. Ugh, it's not a day unless I've threatened to kill Tux. It's just not. So we're doing this. Da 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 da. I have a personal goal of trying to make this an hour, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of like actual topics and stuff like I normally do because like while I don't like pre planning especially this one, I like a very natural flow. It's not the cleanest thing ever. It's not super OCD production quality. And I like that. It's fine. I don't have a big enough audience. Not, no one's going to stop there. I like the vlogcast setting, so that's what I'm going to do. Because why bother doing this if I it's not something I want to do, huh? You know, you know. Um, 
so there's that. Um, so that's that's cat news. Uh, CT's gotten a lot better about me. She likes to be up on the thing uh, when I pet her, though. And then she usually likes her chest rubbed instead of the back of her head um, and or neck. Um, but her and her brother are climbers. Um, I've not checked on Rooster's tooth lately. He's got a loose uh, uh, sub-canine or whatever it's called. It's moves around a lot, um, and it probably hurts him. I don't, I don't know what to do for him. I could, I, I pulled on it to see how loose it was, but it, does, it doesn't seem like it's coming out. It's just wiggling about, and um, his top teeth are like pushing farther in. I don't know what he's doing that causes that. Um, I know he's been chewing on a lot of cardboard, um, which makes you wonder if he's been chewing on wood that may have pushed them back. But they're the, they're the hillbilly cats. Him and his sister. Um, I guess Little's a Floridian. Which is his own special band of crazy. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like what my phone does to things. Like, Twitter has decided uh, that it's going to do moments now, which I think are just blogs, uh, which is horseshit. Um, and then it decided that I get to see notifications from other people tweeting because I've signed up for notifications from them, but I don't get notifications to me anymore. I have to go in manually and look at it. Um, interesting. Da 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 um, no, don't play Mary's thing. I love Mary, but don't play it. Um, uh, sorry, I clicked on it instead of going away. Um, um, I just want to do so many things. I know I don't have time for it, and I'm killing myself. Um, talked about the resume. I took pictures of Warhammer armies, and I still have the Necron army uh, format that I used, and that was going to be the hardest selling one as far as I'm concerned, so I took the three small cases, because i got three old half cases still, um, and uh, so I'm going to put those up next, hopefully those sell, um, and then I'll actually be using that money to pay off uh, credit cards and stuff, because um, this last one went into uh, a project uh, that I get to work on probably this weekend, which makes me nervous because I'll probably spend tomorrow night editing and then Saturday I'm probably going to do a bad summary production uh, and if, I'll probably do like five or six of those. Um, and it takes longer to go back and refresh on the ep previous episodes than it does to actually film it. Uh, but I know I'm going to have to do that, especially uh, because, like, just thinking offhand, I do not remember what happened in Esalen or Twilight Course. No, Twilight Course I don't remember. That's going to be a stretch just trying to get that to happen um, because it was really, like, a really good episode and full of, like, action and combat, but it's like, they fought some guys! And I might just do that. It might be the whole thing. Um... But, and then just have him stand there for a minute and be like, what? It has to be at least a 30-second video, right? <laughs> um, so, but I gotta remember what they did after they killed everybody. <laughs> like, what do you do after a murder spree? Um, so, I gotta do that. That'll be fun. I think that'll be a fun episode, because it'll have a lot of freedom with it. Um, and then Dominions of Esalen... And then uh, War and Scarlet. So I gotta get caught up in War and Scarlet this like next week so that I can move on to Titan's Grave. Uh, because god damn it, I'm tired of getting on Watch Spot and going nothing from Geek and Sundry. <laughs> because LARPs is on hiatus, but it's coming back. Uh, Tabletop's on hiatus, but it's coming back. Cooptitude stopped. I don't know what happened with that. Um, and then the the two RPG shows that I planned on talking about regularly, I haven't been watching because fuck me. And then Brandon started filming another thing. It's gah! Gah! I'm gonna die.
I'm gonna die right here. The cat's gonna eat me. And I'm okay with that. The only problem I have with that, in all seriousness, because I would rather be fed to things, even if I'm, like, pureed and put into plants, um, is that the cats will, like, then be killed because they have the taste of for human flesh. Um, and I'll be honest, they'll probably, like, dig at that, they'll probably eat the food that they've got, and they'll dig at the door where they know the food's at for quite a while, so I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to get through that door and eat what's left of the food before they, they fucking settled in on me. Um, and even then, like, it would probably be like, they'd start at my toes, um, and then go up or something. Um, because I don't know how long you have to sit there before when they lick your hand you're tasty. Like, I have no idea. That is a very interesting thing to think about. And I think about stuff like that for a while. Um, game development wise, I guess this is the last thing I need to talk about before I get off here. Uh, I made some progress somewhat recently on Gamebox, uh, but I need to iron out some issues. Uh, if I can do that, I can move on to the other charts. If I can do that, then I can move forward and I can get the other games involved. Um, and that's going to be a lot of like asset creation which uh, makes me want to put a gun in my mouth, but I can do it, um, and I'm, I'm pretty much back to working by myself on the, the game stuff, uh, other than Daniel doing her art for me, and that's not going to apply to the original Gamesbox push, because I've got to get all the games incorporated, and then if we're going to upgrade art, um, we get to re-standardize. So, I've got to figure out how that's going to work. Because, I don't know. Like, it may be enough of a reasoning to push to Unity or something. But which would actually make a lot of it a lot easier. But then I'd end up making, like, another tabletop simulator. Um, and that might be the way to go, is that we're going to have to do a module for that. But I want to be, be able to retain rights. Because I want to be able to sell... Like, I want like I wouldn't mind doing, like, a free crap... Uh, virtual print and play essentially and then like do a nice production quality version of it so I may have to do something that's tabletop simulator like but instead of doing it like it's just gonna be its own program and be like hey these are the things that are included when you buy this or um, I'll have to release the main thing for free and then you buy individual games as DLC. I think that's what I would like to do, uh, if we're being honest. I think uh, for what I can do and everything, I just have to learn enough. <sighs> you reach a point where you're almost sick of learning shit. But I, I think I can learn enough to uh, get us there and I might know a couple people to help with the push, but I'm so sick of relying on people, other people, that, like, I don't know if I'll have the motivation to try that out. I don't. I just don't. Um, but I'm hoping that changes, and that, uh, project work becomes real life, eventually. Um, hell, I still have that dream of winning the lottery, and then doing the thing. And, you know, I'll be honest, like, I may just take a year off, not to stop working, but, like, a uh, year off to just free form, like, I'll work on my own for a year, and then in my spare time, I'll plan for launching a year, like, that year, like, I'll, whenever I win, like, I can, I'll take it monthly installments or whatever, and then I will quit my job, like, within a month or two, and then, I'm, let's say a year from whenever I quit, then, like, I have one year to work on my own, and then... Uh, prepare to launch a company in the following year. Like, it probably wouldn't be all that much, but, like, why rush it if I don't need to? At the same time, I don't want to dawdle. That's actually, like, a really tricky dilemma there. But, um, fortunately, I don't have that worry yet. <laughs> um... I would love to have that problem, I'll be honest. But I don't think that's, uh, that's going to be the case. 
Um, just realistically. So cats, games, video, me, work, eBay. You run so funny. They all run differently. It's so weird. Rooster's awesome when he gets out and about. Like, um, cause he got out that one time, um, he was in the parking lot. Dude could book it. Him and his sister are the only thin ones out of the bunch anyway. He's even a little fattened up. Um, get him. <laughs> but I'm hoping CTCT CT started to play with Pig a little bit, and that's what's happening right now. Um, so she, she jumped down, she baited him, and then she ran off, and I'm really hoping that uh, <coughs> she can help him shed a couple pounds. Um, he just he came from a big cat, and he is a big cat, and uh, I think he's lost weight, but he's got all that skin, um, which makes it funny. But he just, he runs, and then he, his belly his belly skin swings. Um, so it's amusing, but it's sad too. Um, <coughs> oh, I've been trying to be on an earlier schedule, so I've been enjoying that much. But I think work uh, has some kind of expectation for my 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 hours that I'm there at the office for some reason, uh, and I have no idea why because they've never had that before. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna go in, and if I can get there at six, fuck yeah. But uh, I'm going there. I'll be in there by by eight o'clock at the very latest, and then um, I will get out of there when I damn well need to get out of there, uh, 4.30 at the latest, which I have to be doing math wrong. Because if I get in there at 7.30, four hours later is 11.30. Now let's pretend I take a half hour break from there, that's between 12. And then four o'clock is leaving time from there. If I get there at eight, yeah, okay. Okay, so okay, the problem was I got there at seven. That's what it was. Um, so it was seven, uh, five hours to, to twelve, and another three is three, and a half hour is three thirty. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, so that's when I should have been able to get out of there today. I was there an extra hour and a half, and now I'm fucking tired. Uh, I'm ready to go to bed after this. I I actually am enjoying going to bed around between eight and eight and ten at the very latest. Um, it's nice. I like it. I give a shit. Uh, if I can work myself low enough, uh, this week I'll probably mess it up. Um, but I, I'll go back to going in at like 6 o'clock. That was awesome. That was like my favorite work experience. Like I was able to work 6 to 2 and leave. Um, but that was back when I had a job where I could actually get shit done. And it's, it's not three times the amount of effort for the things I can actually do. And then not being able to do things because either other people didn't do their job, or I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. It's it's ridiculous at points. Um, that it's like you want me to do what? You want me to do this thing with these other these three other things that I've never worked with. No one's ever tra offered any training on. I have nowhere to go to look anything up at. I can't research or I can't Google it because it's proprietary. The way we use it. Then when I look up the parts that I could you do for reference, well, that's not how we use it. <laughs> we use it how they. Uh, it's it's serious. It was so sad. I I I Google researched stuff for like two weeks, um, sometime last year, and like everything I found was like you don't do it that way. Why would you do it that way? I actually found several posts that actually like were really like mean. Like oh you're stupid if you do it that way. That's a fucking idiot's way to do it. It's, it's the unsecure this way, and it's like, fuck, really? Really? Um, like, e like, it's the equivalent of, here's an example I can give. Uh, when you put things in quotations, things aren't always in quotations. Um, a lot of people, on some certain languages, especially for web programming, or not web programming, but web design, use single quotes. Single quotes are supposedly very insecure because, fuck, if I can ex explain to you why they're insecure. Um, the point is, is that they're easier to find and manipulate. 
Um, so if you use double quotes, you're technically more secure. Not two single quotes, the double quote key. Uh, but because it's a special character for programming, it will break things, so you have to use escape characters. And so if you can use if you're using escape characters, this is the part that actually makes it more secure. Um, when it's processing things, it'll uh, determine escape characters and parse it more cleanly. Whereas if you have quotes, it's just kind of like, oh, this is code, um, and it doesn't pay it doesn't pay attention. It doesn't do any security analysis on it. Like those aren't the real words, but that's the the, the layman's explanation for. It. Um, that thing's about half done. Um, oh yeah, spherical video, because I've been trying to get caught up on doing that. I can't believe I finally got it to process MP4s for me, um, and I tested it with a smaller uh, video, so it definitely does work where I can inject metadata, but the amount of time that it takes for metadata to inject, you know what, that might have been part of what happened today. Um, because it was still trying to inject metadata in the thing, but the the file size is big enough that I think that it has to t put it into RAM while it's injecting, and then take it and write it from RAM to storage. Um, so we look at output. No, that's the same size that the other thing was. So apparently, if it's any bigger than a megabyte. Which is ridiculous all on its own. Uh, it doesn't like it. So I've got a 3.31 gigabyte spherical file that I was trying to encode with, met, uh, with the metadata injector, and it doesn't lock up, but it just takes too long. Uh, you can't tell that it's still going. It's I, I, so I've got a I've got to find a solution for this, uh, and it may be that. As an industry, we're not ready for spherical video, which is horse hockey. Um, if I can do it, I want to, but I have to get this to work, otherwise there's no point in filming anything else. Um, I could probably take a smaller video and then test it with that, but I know small videos can work. It's a matter of doing something that's like a half hour long. Um, and if I do that, then I know I can do long, long format a uh, spherical video, and that will probably be like Let's Plays, <coughs> which will actually um, probably really save some effort in doing some stu uh, stuff with the um, camera setup. And if I can really get that to work, uh, I could possibly find a way to live stream it. <coughs> because I know that that's a thing that people have been working on, and if I can get the basics down, then I can try to work on some of the advanced stuff, and that'll be great. If I can do live stream uh, spherical vlog casting, then great. Um, the question is, is I've got to, or is like what to do with it, because I've got to have something more than just me sitting there talking, come back, I want to look in your mouth. Um, something more than me sitting here talking, because that's great if you can look around and see my computer, um, my cats, and everything. <coughs> so maybe that can be I can't flip back and forth it's got to be one or the other we will find a way um, so on that hopeful note I'm I, let's go ahead and bid adieu uh, trying to remember how to do this with all these things I should probably just find another way to do it but until you see me next time I am Camerai have a nice day that's horrible. Have a nice day. Yeah. You like this or anything else, or want to see what else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and it'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.